It's either 100% because he saw it, or it's 0%. It can't be 50-50 anymore because he knows. In other words, knowledge changes probability. Now, if knowledge can change, what is it, by the way? Tell us. Zero percent. Now we all know it's zero. But he knew right away it was zero. And you knew it was different than 50-50. Thank you, senor. You may take your seat. In the world, uh, ordinary world of coins and flipping and so forth, this is not a big mystery. It's a little bit strange, I realize, because after all, you didn't do anything. You didn't change anything. Why should it have changed? The answer is, the universe doesn't care. Doesn't care. As long as some knowledge was gained, probability must change. That's all. Something may occur to you in all of this, and that is, here you are in a body in a, a universe which has dimensions of space and time and matter and energy. And now you've discovered your purpose. And you think, okay, what am I to do next? Don't worry about anything. Once you've discovered your purpose, you and the universe are suddenly one. And let the universe take over from this point. You don't have to worry about anything. Use your power, which you now know is your act, but don't worry about anything because now you become part of the bigger game. And the bigger game is to bring consciousness to those that are unconscious, to bring joy to those that are sad, to bring sadness to those that have never experienced it before. In other words, to bring life, life, not suffering, but life. A lot of suffering is simply because we're in a body, but a lot of suffering is because we tend to impose our wills on others in such a way that they suffer because of our actions. So when you become aware of this, you don't do things like that. You don't behave in what I call stupid ways. You behave in ways in which you enhance your significance in terms of what you're here to do. If you're here to become significant, to do some action which is important in your life or in other people's lives, then you must recognize that it must be important in other people's lives, not just only in yours. So you have to understand that any action that you do which is part of this game, this universal game, this game of consciousness, uh, has to benefit other people. It has to bring something to others. Good question. When we observe, can we choose which possibility we will see? The answer is yes. The big thing to understand here is that you have a choice as to how to carry out your observation. See, in the film, there was an observation going on that wasn't mentioned, namely the screen where the electrons finally hit. That's being observed. If you observe in between and watch which slit, the act of observation changes the probability pattern. 
Remember our friend who came up on stage and flipped the coin. The act of observation did what? Change the probability. That's what you're doing here. Now, I want you to get really clear in your mind about this because this is very, very tricky. And many people tend to think that we're talking about some kind of mechanical way of doing something. We're not. What we're saying here is that your power lies in your ability to change possibilities. As a result, what you get isn't always what you might wish to get because you're still dealing with probabilities. Tricky, we're going to go through this in greater detail coming up, but I just want you to hear the language first. In the double slit experiment, which you just saw, things are very wavy. Wavy means possibility. Marbles are probability. Waves are possibility. Marbles are probability. When things are thinging, we're in the land of probability. When things are waving, we're in the land of possibility. There's a difference between possibility and probability. And it's, a, it's, it's more than subtle, it's fundamental. Because possibilities can interfere with each other. Probabilities cannot. Possibilities can interfere with each other. That's why you got the pattern of the double slit experiment. There are places where the waves of possibility don't go. They interfere with each other. Where one wave is positive, the other one's negative. So they interfered where that happened on the screen. Do you understand what I'm saying? You may not understand all the mathematical details, I realize. But you certainly understand that what's positive, that's up. And what's negative, that's down. Added together can give zero. There are three golden rules to the game of life. I'm not talking about the ordinary game of life, but I'm talking about the game of life in which you begin to take power to affect reality. Here are these golden rules. The first one is to realize that in when we're dealing with possibilities, we're dealing with that vibrational realm. Possibilities vibrate. The second possibility. I haven't taught you this yet, but we're coming to it. Squaring changes possibilities into probabilities. I'll show you what that means in a moment. Just now, hear the words. Squaring. I'll give you a hint. If I say, how much is 5 times 5? The answer is... Vente cinco. Okay? Okay. If I say... How much is 4 times 4? It's uh, whatever, 16. I don't know what that is in Spanish. That's called squaring a number. Multiplying a number by itself is called squaring. Okay? Here's a, tricky, here's a, trickier, here's a trickier square. I'm going to get you on this one. How much is minus 5 times minus 5? How many say minus something? How many say plus something? Plus what? Vente cinco, right? 25. Minus times minus is a plus. So when you square a number, whether it's a positive number or a negative number, you always get a... A numero positivo, a positive number, right? Okay, keep that in mind. 
because possibilities can be plus or minus, like the wave can be up or down. Probabilities can never be minus. They're always positive. Okay? The third rule, you have the power to choose. Just when you add possibilities or when you add probabilities. And the trick here is this is what's called the principle of complementarity. You can choose how. 